Morgasmatron is a dual, multi-mode, self-oscillating, cross-fading, voltage-controlled filter with overdrive distortion, phase inversion, and volt per octave tracking. Now what does that mean? To learn the layout, let's just focus on filter A here on the left. Each filter has its own input and output with an input gain control. So let's go ahead and plug a Dixie pulse wave into the input of A. We'll take the output of A and turn up the in A level. Eurorack unity gain is at 12 o'clock, but we can push past that to introduce soft clipping and saturation. We have the usual controls for cutoff and Q, or resonance, and six selectable filter types. Each filter has three inputs for frequency modulation of the filter cutoff. FM1 has a unipolar attenuator, so let's plug in a triangle LFO from a Dixie and bring that up. FM2 has a bipolar attenuverter, so you can invert and scale an incoming CV signal. The 1 volt per octave input will allow the filters to track melodies sent through pitch CV. At this point it's worth mentioning that with Q turned all the way up, the filters will self-oscillate, allowing them to be used as voltage-controlled oscillators. Turning up Q drive adds additional drive to the filter's resonance. This can be made even more aggressive by using the filter A's overdrive switch. Overdrive provides a satisfyingly aggressive and gritty asymmetrical distortion modeled after the Proco RAT pedal. Overdrive will dramatically change the tone of the six filter types and resonance controls. The filters also have a dry switch to completely bypass the filter at the mix output and hear the original unprocessed signal. Instead of an overdrive switch like A, filter B has a switch to invert the phase of its signal. Phase cancellation can produce some interesting timbral effects, but this can also be used to create ring modulation. The filters can be set either in series or parallel. With the switch up, the filters are in series, meaning that the output of A feeds into the input of B. Of course, make sure you turn up the input of B if you do this, and use either the out B or mix output. Now you can use the two filters in tandem to shape your tone. Both the 1 volt per octave and FM2 inputs of A are normal to the corresponding inputs of B, so you can control them together or separately. Flicking the switch down places the filters in parallel mode. Now they can be used as two separate filters, or you can use the mix output and blend between A and B with the X-Fade knob. X-Fade can also be modulated with CV, and there is an attenuverter to control the amount and polarity of modulation. This array of controls and configurations makes Morgasmatron a very capable and flexible tool for any manner of sonic manipulation. Once you connect a few modulation sources, you're able to shape sound in a number of fun and exciting ways. Thanks for watching.